What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to just be doing something uh, much needed to the new International Farm All tractor that I just bought. Uh, if you guys saw the last video, that was us picking it up. Had a little bit of fun with a front wheel blown out. <laughs> so we're going to fix that today. We are going to go rob some rear steer wheels from a 850 Massey combine. Uh, they should theoretically fit and have enough dish that uh, it should be a pretty much a bang up perfect match to throw onto the international now and get rid of our wonky setup of one <laughs> one big tire just to get it home and uh, one let's be honest crap tire so let's uh let's go rob some parts junk well here we are i'm putting putting uh jay to work here he's breaking all the all the nuts on here, or I guess the lug bolts, and uh, we already stole the other side, got that off, but these tires look pretty good. So we're gonna break them, jack this side up, take them, we got one off already, and with the deep dish, eight lug, should work super slick. And honestly, it's not too bad for wear either, a little bit of cracking within the grooves here and there, but not bad. So they should work pretty slick. Turns out the old uh, parts 850 is uh, coming in clutch. Anyway, so we're gonna keep working on this and get some tires put on that turd. Voila. Oh, there you go. You just Gotta love having two different sizes of lug bolts holding the front wheel on. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with. 13 16 and 7 8 is holding everything, so I'm getting Jay to break them all for me quick while I uh, video him. <laughs> and we'll use the front bucket here once they're all broke, lift up the front end, and we'll swap wheels quick.
Alrighty, so there you have it. We uh, quickly changed the wheels, stole them off that 850 Massey, threw them on here. Uh, nothing to it. I always like to use, I know a screwdriver is not right, but if you have a, a punch, I like to use a punch to kind of line up the hole when you put your wheel on. I know there's probably some better ways than that, but that's the way that I've always done it. Works okay, a little bit of grunting, everything's heavy, but works well. And then the other thing too, I know a lot of people are gonna scream about using the front end loader to prop it up to switch tires, but uh, it's the best we got right now. So this work what we have, we did it in and out as quick as we could, trying to be uh, out of harm's way for the most part. We got our chains, so now we got new front tires that are not junk. So that'll be good. And the dish on them is perfect because when we threw this one from our old white tractor, this one's so big and the rim doesn't have quite as much dish as the stock wheel did. So what ended up happening is it was rubbing this, uh, this stop here, as you can see where it's shiny on the inside of the wheel. And like I said in the last video, we only had four or five K to make it home. So I ended up wearing a bit into the tire, not a ton, but either way it wasn't working. So these new wheels, we got room for days here. Shouldn't have a problem now anymore with that. Like I said, a little bit of cracking, but they should be fine. And uh, they look a hell of a lot better than those old ones. So next thing that's going to be up in a later video is I'm going to be addressing the oil leak I have going on with the, with the cylinder here. You probably could have seen it on video, but it's just from the fitting. So it's not the end of the world, but we are getting a bit of an oil leak. So that'll be another video addressing that. I have a feeling it just needs to be taken apart. Get some Teflon tape on there or put new, uh, new uh, fittings on whatever it possibly needs so it shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad anyways so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching have a great day